Hey students, how are you? So today we are going to talk about quantum mechanical model of an atom. So now I have a question for you. Do the electrons really follow a fixed and defined path around the nucleus? Yes, electrons revolve around the nucleus in a fixed path called orbits. And you already know that this theory was given by Niels Bohr. But we can't say that the position of electrons is the same or not because electrons continuously revolve around the nucleus and that's why the exact position of the electrons cannot be found easily. And for that an Austrian physicist named Erwin Schrödinger proposed a model named quantum mechanical model of atom by using the point that electrons present in the orbits around the nucleus we can find the velocity of an electron and also the position of an electron about which we will learn in this topic. Okay, so now before moving on to the video, I want to tell you that if you want to learn maths and science in a very easy way, then enroll today in the best courses of Infinity Learn on its website. So for more information, click the link given in the description box. Now the question is that we can't even see the electrons from our naked eyes then how it is even possible to find the position and velocity of an electron. So now let's take an example. So for example, during the night time, how can you find the articles in the room? Maybe by using a torch light, right? So in the same way, the electrons which revolve around the nucleus are not visible to our naked eyes. So we can see them by using focused light. But compared to the articles in the room, the electrons are too small that we cannot find out by using any normal light. So for this, we can use a shorter wavelength light to find the electron position in an atom. Now what is a shorter wavelength light? So it is the light waves in which the length of every wave is shorter comparatively to the other light waves. And as its wavelength will be shorter, its frequency will be higher because more number of waves will be passing from the given point per second. Understood? Okay. But there will be still a small problem, which is when you focus shorter wavelength light into the atom, it will mostly disturb the motion of an electron in an atom. Because as I said, if the light's wavelength will be lower, then its frequency will be higher. It means its energy will be higher. So that's why it will disturb the motion of electrons. And then we again return to the first conclusion that the position and velocity of an electron cannot be measured accurately. But this can be done with the help of this quantum mechanical model of an atom. Yes, in this quantum mechanical model of an atom, we can find the velocity and position of an electron. So to find the position, take a region around the nucleus instead of an orbit, where the electron probability is maximum. And for this only, the Schrodinger proposed the orbital concept. But wait a second, what is orbital? So it is the region around the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is maximum, is basically called an orbital. Now here, S, P, D and F are the orbitals in which the probability of finding an electron is maximum. And these orbitals have a stable energy. And by the way, about the properties of electrons and the properties of orbitals, we will learn about these in next videos. So that's it for this video. I hope you got the basic introduction about what quantum mechanical model of an atom is. So in the next video, we will learn a detailed composition of all the important terms comes under this topic and which are very important terms to know for knowing the structure of atom. So the terms are principal quantum number, the angular momentum quantum number, the magnetic quantum number and the spin quantum number. And these all numbers are the types of quantum numbers. These all terms we are going to talk about in next video.